Hello, I'm Alexander and we're taking a look at Metze 109 Pro headphones today. As always, I'm not paid to say anything in particular about this product and all thoughts and opinions in today's episode are my own. 109 Pro is a new dynamic open back headphones from Metze. The headphones feature 50mm drivers with a dual composite diaphragm made out of combination of beryllium coated polymer and cellulose carbon fiber composites. The headphones have an excellent build, striking design, engaging tuning and detachable cable. The headphones arrived in a large stylish black box. There is a branding and model name on the front of the box as well as the graphics that is a representation of multiple traditional symbols from Maramures county in Romania. And also there is a textured stylized drawing of 109 Pro on the back of the box. In the box there is a carrying case that holds the headphones, 1.5 meters long soft TPA cable terminating with 3.5 millimeter connector, 3 meters long soft TPA cable terminating with 3.5 millimeter connectors and a 3.5 to 6.3 millimeter adapter. In addition, underneath the case there is a product booklet that has product highlights accompanied by nice scenery photographs, which I believe is somewhere in Romania. Impedance of the headphones is 40 ohms, sensitivity 112 dB. The headphones weigh 375 grams without a cable. Now let's talk about design and build. I will start with saying that previously Metz's 99 Classics was probably one of the most beautiful and well-engineered pairs of headphones I ever reviewed on my channel. Now it's time to pass this crown to 109 Pro. It's built using walnut wood, manganese steel, zinc and wagon leather and to me this build is an engineering marvel every part in this build is mounted or attached using nuts and bolts and there was no glue used in the build the outer part of the headband is made of two steel spring parts that extend all the way down to the ear cups and we have already seen this configuration on 99 classics the self-adjusting headband has a rail and if you move up the pleather part of the headband it slides all the way on this rail and if you move the headband all the way up on the right there's also a serial number on this rail this rail is then attached to the headband using two cross structure joints that have a copper accents and metz logo on it the rail is then covered with a platter that has a very nice padding and 109 pro name and channel markings embossed on it Overall, the headband adjusting mechanism works flawlessly and I like this design. The clamping force is average and it provides a good fit and seal. The cups are attached to the metal bands, they swivel a bit both horizontally and vertically and this allows you to adjust it for the best angle and better fit. The ear cups are made from a hand finished walnut wood. Outer part of the ear cup is covered with a mesh and plastic separators with a spider shaped structure hence making this design and open back. In addition, the grills make the cup acoustically transparent, exposing the driver from both sides, creating Meta's most open pattern to date. Each ear cup has a 3.5mm connector socket close to the back side of the cup and is bordered with a copper accent rings. The sockets are installed with an angle, which helps to direct the cable the way it's not getting in the way when you're wearing this pair. Also, the 99 Classics were fully symmetrical headphones, meaning left and right ear was only defined based on the cable connections. This is not the case with 109 Pro, as 3.5mm connector sockets are placed differently here, hence if you rotate the headphones, the cable will look in a different direction. The earpads are made out of velour, they have an oval shape and are replaceable. The height of the earpad is 110mm, the width is 85mm. The opening of the earpad is 65mm in height and 45mm across. The depth of the earpad is 25mm. The ear cups are soft and quite flexible, so they can accommodate large ears too. As velour is softer and more breathable than leather, it also prevents sweating and overheating during long listening sessions. The ear cups host 50mm drivers that are covered with stainless steel metal grills that have very beautiful machined cutouts. 
Metza also positioned the driver at a precise angle and distance from the ear to achieve the ideal anatomical fit. Overall, the build quality is fantastic and the headphones have been designed in the way so they can be fully disassembled and serviced. Now a couple of words about fit and comfort. 109 Pro is all about comfort. The headphones weigh 375 grams without the cable, but as the headband perfectly distributes the weight, they feel light on the head. Also, I have large ears and in my case, they completely fit inside the ear pads, which is good. The headband clamping forces average, but it still provides a good fit and seal. Overall, I have no complaints regarding the comfort and I also think that if you have a very big head, the fit still won't be a problem. The headphones come with two detachable cables, 1.5 meters long soft TPE cable with the black aluminum casings terminating with 3.5 millimeter connector and a 3 meters long also soft TPE cable also with black aluminum casings and also terminating with 3.5 millimeter connector. There is also a 3.5 millimeter to 6.3 millimeter adapter included in the package, but balanced cable is unfortunately Unfortunately, not included, and I would love to see balanced cable at this price range. On one end of the cables, there's a 3.5 mm TRS connector that has a Metzel logo on it, and on the other end, both cables have a 3.5 mm TS connectors with a clear channel indication. The connectors sit in the ear cup socket well, and they have a click upon connection, which I liked a lot. I personally prefer very soft and braided multi-core cables, so to me cables that are supplied with headphones are a bit stiff and have a bit of microphonics. Though I think this choice of cable materials makes this particular cable very durable. In addition, if you are not happy with the cable, you can always upgrade to a braided Furukawa PCUHD premium cables from Metza. Now let's talk about the sound. Please note that all sound impressions I am sharing on this channel are completely subjective, so please take them with a grain of salt. The impedance of headphones is 40 ohms, and the sensitivity is 112 dB, which means that you can also drive it with your smartphone, but the headphones really scale if you pair it with better amplifiers and sources. The sound of 109 Pro is a combination of a balanced tuning, warm bass, natural presentation and sparkly treble that results in a very engaging and fun sound presentation. Usually a lot of open back headphones lack in the bass department due to their open design, but this is not the case with 109 Pro. The bass here is fast, well controlled with a warm character great texture and an emphasis on mid-bass. The sub-bass rumble is still good for a pair of open backs, but the mid-bass is more dominant here and it has more impact and note weight. Complex and fast recording sound clean and I really love the bass response and its speed. Overall, I need to say that I was pleasantly surprised by the bass performance here. It has a solid body and an excellent speed and at the same time it can be airy and gentle too. The mid-range is natural, lush and relaxed. The definition of mid-range is excellent and the whole region is very detailed and organic. Vocals and instruments sound a bit forward and that feature brings vocal performance closer to the listener, which in my opinion is a great thing. I also want to point out that the whole mid-range here is very coherent and detailed, without the usual caveat that we can see on some other pairs. I am particularly talking about pairs that have the upper mid-range too hot compared to the lower mids. Upper mids on 109 Pro have never been harsh and there is not any hint of brightness here, even with not so well recorded music. Vocals both male and female sound organic and rich, so are the instruments, and they have a good resolution and detail as well. Treble on 109 Pro also pleasantly surprised me. It's sparkly, energetic and airy with a lot of detail. While some people could have preferred a more smooth treble response, especially based on the bass and mid-range character of 109 Pro, I understand why Metze tuned the treble like this. 
First of all, Tribal makes this pay extremely fun and lively, yet it doesn't sound grainy or artificial. Also, the treble was never sharp or intrusive in my case, but it still has a lot of air and energy. I personally think that this treble tuning complements the overall tuning of 109 Pro in the best possible way, and it has the right amount of energy for my personal preference. Details retrieval is very good and micro details retrieval is great as well. The headphones are still forgiving to some degree as they lack surgical precision in this department, but the amount of details you are getting is still surprising. Sound stage size is above average, it's more deep than wide. The driver placement and the open back design definitely helps to keep the sound presentation spacious and natural at the same time. The soundstage conveys an excellent sense of distance, imaging is on point, the placement of instruments is great. Details and micro details retrieval as I already mentioned are excellent, layering is good and the instrument separation is good as well. Let's summarize. 109 Pro are phenomenal headphones. They have an engaging and fun sound, a great sense of space, are comfortable and look marvelous. They're also easy to drive, though they will still scale a bit when paired with a good amp and source. Pros, excellent build and a striking design, outstanding comfort, easy to drive, engaging and lively sound presentation, excellent bass response for an open back, natural and beautiful mid-range, sparkly and detailed treble, excellent resolution and detailed retrieval, special sound stage and a hard shell that comes with the package. Cons. Not the most technical pair in its price range, no balanced cable included in the package, and treble can be a bit hot for some people. 109 Pro can easily introduce you to the world of expensive headphones and at the same time I understand why it can be easily an endgame headphones for some listeners. If you can afford it, I strongly recommend you to check this pair. To me, it's a phenomenal sounding pair of headphones and a perfect representation of hard work that was put in its development. Alright guys, that's all from me for today and I hope that you enjoyed this review. If you want to see more content like this, please consider subscribing to my channel and click the bell icon to receive new video updates. See you in the next episode. Goodbye.